Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are chugging right along as we film all of our uh, monthly subscription boxes for March. If you haven't heard, we're in quarantine. I'm in my pajamas and we're in my figment jersey from Disney. And uh, yeah, we're just here living our best lives with no human contact or a chance to go out and spend money anywhere, which is good, it's what we need right now. So it's, uh, yeah, but yeah, uh, definitely if you aren't, you know, if you aren't already sick, then please do your best to keep yourself healthy. If you are sick, then we are definitely sending you love and prayers and hope that you will get very better very soon. Um, I know it's a crazy time for everybody and there's just a lot of stress going on. So um, definitely do everything you can be diligent about, you know, keeping yourself healthy, but also um, just be mindful of everybody and, and spread as much love and positivity as you can. So yeah, without any further ado, let's jump into Ipsy versus Ipsy for this month. Now we have opened up my BoxyLux and my FabFitFun. BoxyLux was meh, we got some good stuff in it. FabFitFun I really didn't like. I got like a couple things that I was kind of okay with, but the overall was not happy. So hopefully Ipsy will do a little bit better this month. I have been incredibly meh the whole year with them. So hopefully it's a little bit better than that. So if you don't know what Ipsy versus Ipsy is, it is where I take um, my uh, my mother's bag and my bag and I compare the 10 items that we got, five in hers, five in mine. I pick out which bag I like better as a whole. And then I assemble my perfect ideal bag with the 10 products that we have received here. So I will start with my mother's, but I am gonna say, I actually opted this month to do add an, an I can't speak, oh my God. Let's try that, Re rewind, let's try that one more time. Um, so I opted this month to add on the Boxy Premium bag, which I've, they've done the past couple months where they've let you actually just purchase the bag without anything in it. It was 12 additional dollars and I don't normally buy cosmetic bags, but it was so freaking cute. I love teal, teal. I mean, I went to a college where our, our color was teal and it's this cute teal and yellow little bag and it's a good space in there. And I was like, I'm gonna do it. So I did add that on. So I pulled that out. It came with my small Ipsy. Um, so I went ahead and pulled that out so that it was out of the way when I open my bag. But yes, so now, like I said, I always start with my mother's bag. So we're gonna go into her bag first. Oh, oh, a lot of her products are on the outside. Okay, all right, okay. So the first thing that I saw, she got these bubble tea, lemongrass and green tea and hibiscus and, and acai berry tea sheet masks. I don't know how she feels about sheet masks. She doesn't like face masks, but the last time she got sheet masks, she was excited about it. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I'm, I like them. I would be happy if I got these. Um, I do like sheet masks a lot. I actually like them better than normal masks. So um, the only downside is of course you only get one time use, but they're very good about even in the smaller Ipsy sending you at least uh, two. They don't normally just send you one, they send you a couple. So um, that's a good one in my opinion. I, I'm a fan of that. The next thing she got is a Luxie brush. I'm gonna take it out of the packaging. And it's a big, nice, like feathery brush. I would probably use this for like, I mean, it's very tapered. I would probably use it if I was gonna do like a blush is, is probably what I would I would do with it. Um, but I don't see why you couldn't potentially do highlighter or even if you wanted a really light shaded contour, you probably could do like more of a bronzing brush if, if you will, rather than a contour. But I don't normally do heavy contour. I normally like use a bronzer and use it as a contour. So it's not a bad brush. Um, she's kind of, She's kind of okay getting brushes now because she hasn't gotten a whole lot this year, but she was for a while, she was like, don't send me any more brushes. Um, the bag of course is adorable. It's like a little mini version of, so this is what the premium looks like. We'll see what the, the plus looks like when we open that one. But, um, but it's a very cute bag. I really, really like this month's design. And I, oh, she got a lot of items. She got, did she, I wonder if she did an add-on. She didn't tell me she did any add-ons, but she got, she, she's got six items here. We normally get five. So I don't, I don't know what that's about, but okay. Okay, so the f first thing I see is it's a Polar Cream Relaxant from, well, I guess Polar is the brand, but it's a relaxing cream. And now it's on the ground. I'm trying to see what it actually is. I'm guessing it's just like a face cream that you put on before you go to bed, but it's just kind of a tiny little toothpaste looking bottle. And uh, yeah, I know absolutely nothing about the brand or what it does, but interesting. Um, the next thing she got was from Naked Cosmetics and I love Naked Cosmetics, I'm a huge fan. It is highlighter? No, it's an eyeshadow, but it's a really pretty, It's almost it almost is light enough and shimmery enough that it could be a highlighter. I wouldn't recommend using it as a highlighter, but I just wasn't sure at first. But it is a really nice shimmery little light brown taupey color, which I, I'm sure my mom will love that. She's not a huge glitter person, um, but 
she does love that kind of color scheme. So I think she, I think she'll definitely get some good use out of it. Um, the next thing she got is a Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. I love these kind of primers. Um, I love Tarte, so I would imagine this would be a really great product. Um, and then the final thing she got is a full-sized Afra bronzer. I believe that's what she chose because we get to pick out our items every month, one item each month. Um, I think this is the one that she chose, but I could be very wrong as well, but it is a full size, which Afra is really good about um, when they put in products, they normally do full size ones. So that's a great bronzer right there. Um, so overall, I'm a big fan of her, her bag as a whole. Um, the only thing I really don't care about is that face cream, but I mean, she got six products instead of five this month. So it, it's a great bag in my opinion. That's I, one of the better ones that I've seen this, uh, this year. So yeah, hopefully mine looks kind of similar or at least has the same kind of quality products that I'm excited about because yeah, I don't want to be disappointed. So I believe I also chose the, um, well, they're almost identical looking like it. Let's see. I didn't get the sheet masks, bummer but I did get the bronzer and I believe I picked that as well. So that's the full size bronzer right there. Nice, nice asset. Um, I got the Luxie brush as well. I probably will use it as a blush brush for myself, but yeah. I don't really care. I've been getting a lot of brushes this year, so that doesn't really excite me, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so the first thing I pulled out of mine is a Blackhead O2 Bubble Pore Pack. Um, oh, I don't have my card out. I wanna read about this product because I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, okay. So I know I've done a, a cleansing routine where I use the pore fizz masks from Dr. Brandt. And I believe this is the same concept. So you put it on your face, you let it dissolve into your skin for five minutes. It bubbles up, it clears out your pores and then you just wash it off. So that's really cool. I really like my Dr. Brandt fizz mask. So that if that's as good as it is, then I'm going to be very excited about that particular one. I got the same face cream. I got, I got the same Tarte hydrating primer. All right, so I got a Wander Beauty eyeshadow and truthfully, the picture of it does not do it justice. This is a gorgeous shade. I opened it up and I was like, okay. It's like this very light, but super iridescent pink shade. It's almost like a champagne color, but the glitter is so crazy. I, I'm, I'm in love with it. I absolutely am very excited about that. Our bags are relatively similar and I'm trying to think now i'm trying to remember why we all got six products i believe it was because we were celebrating ifc's birthday and they had told us we were going to get a bonus product which i'm assuming it was i'm assuming it was either the the cream the polar cream or the tarte primer and everybody got that maybe it was the luxe beauty probably not i don't i don't think so that would be what i would guess um so yeah so if i had to choose a bag altogether. I know that's really hard. It's really hard. And I know we had a lot of similar products, but I think truthfully, just because I really love the shade that I got in the Wonder Beauty eyeshadow, I would choose my bag. It's very close though, because I like my mom's sheet masks a lot. Um, so let's say I have to pick six products. I'm gonna do six, because we got six this month. So I'll choose six products that I would uh, to make my my ideal bag. So I'm going with the, um, the bronzer from Afra, which we both got. So that comes from both of our bags. I'm going with my mom's face masks. I'm doing uh, the Tarte hydrating primer, which we both got as well. So we'll call those a wash. So put those two down. Um, and then I'm going with um, obviously my Wander Beauty eyeshadow. I'd probably choose her eyeshadow too, even though I know that we're never gonna get two eyeshadows in one. And then I would probably go with the pore mask as well. So basically what I didn't care about were the brush and the, um, the night cream more or less. Understandable. I'm, not I'm happy with this bag. I like this bag. I like the design of the bag. I like the products that I received. I love that they gave us an extra little sample this month. I thought that was very nice of them. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of this. This is one of the best months that Ipsy has had, um, at least for 2020, probably in the past few months overall, like past like into December and, and November even. So yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. Apparently I forgot how to talk while we were filming this video. So I apologize that I was rambling a lot. I'm sure Nikki can try and edit that out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. We're gonna try our best to post as much as we can while you guys are sanctioned at home and trying to stay healthy and, and keep the virus from spreading any further than it already has. Um, and everybody just stay super healthy and super, super safe. Oh my God, I really cannot talk today. Stay super healthy and super safe and be conscious of your surroundings. And as always, have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.